Welcome to our presentation on uh, using the platform of football to promote employment and entrepreneurship opportunities for girls and young women in the slums of Kenya. Lessons from Breaking the Barriers, a project in Kenya. Uh, the main presenter is myself, Flores Gitao who is a lecturer, I'm a lecturer at the Department of Recreation and Sports Management, Kenyatta University. And my co-presenter is Nancy Waweru, who is the Programs Director of Vijana Amani Pamoja. And uh, our presentation is uh, about a project, Vijana Amani Pamoja, which means uh, youth Together for Peace. This is a grassroots, sport-based uh, community organization which engages young people in their respective communities with an aim of empowering them through skills, training to enable them secure employment and entrepreneurship opportunities within the sports sector. Uh, more focus is given to this project within the Vijana Amani Pamoja, which is called Breaking the Barriers, BTB. This is a project that targeted girls and young women aged between 15 and 25 years living in the slums area of uh, Nairobi. The program aimed at uh, supporting a hundred girls who are in the who are playing soccer and they are alumni aged between 15 and 25 years and uh, apart from playing soccer this uh, project aimed at uh, giving these girls uh, opportunities for training and that uh, opportunities for employment through capacity training and development of strong net support network and also giving them entrepreneurship opportunities. The program partnered with the St. John's Ambulance, uh, Standard Chartered Bank, Women Win, Football Federation Kenya and uh, Kenyatta University. Uh, the first uh, trainings were offered by Football Kenya Football, Football Kenya Federation, and they trained the girls on the skills of coaching and uh, also refereeing. They, they trained both girls and women, uh, girls, women, and even male, some male, but the uh, majority were female and uh, they were trained to become coaches and they became coaches of the teams within their environment and others became referees. The second day training was offered by St. John's Ambulance on uh, physiotherapy and first aid and uh, this enabled the girls to be able to offer uh, physiotherapy services and also uh, first aid to the teams within their community. Then there was uh, another training that was offered by Kenyatta University through the Department of Recreation and Sport Management on uh, sport management because these girls were working in uh, environments. They were playing football and uh, they were in charge of coaching so they needed some sport management uh, skills. And so from Kenyatta University, the girls learned skills such as uh, how to organize tournaments, how to organize events. They were taught uh, nutrition, sport nutrition, so that they could advise their players on what to eat and when to eat, among other skills that they were taught. But they were also taught uh, leadership skills through uh, the sports 
and uh, these were leadership skills uh, among the other life skills that they were taught so that uh, they could use them not only for themselves but to impact the same knowledge to the girls in their community who they were going to teach. Other training was in form of uh, business training. Here, the girls were introduced to how to run small businesses. They were introduced to financial literacy. They were taught about budgeting. They were taught about uh, saving, how they can save. And uh, these skills were aimed at uh, giving them uh, the ability to be able to run small businesses apart from playing football. They could uh, establish small businesses which would help them and help their families. The program project was called uh, Mrembo, which means beautiful. And uh, some girls were trained in uh, such areas as uh, hairdressing, which uh, brings in the concept of, uh, of uh, beauty, um, rainbow. The outcome of the trainings, uh, which were done over a period of time, uh, the results of that training, the outcome, were that uh, from that, about 46% of the girls were attached, although they were not earning, they were attached, attached to some teams. But uh, from this attachment, uh, they were going to get uh, more experience which would enable them now become employable. Then there were others who were attached and they were also earning, that is 17% of the girls, which was very good. But uh, out of those 17, there were 3% three, who were even uh, able to get uh, employment. Then uh, there were 6% who dropped out of the project. Uh, others did not give feedback. 18% uh, did not give feedback about uh, the training. Then we had uh, the 10% who did not get any attachment. They were not attached anywhere. But uh, with the skills, it is possible for them to get uh, attach, attached even as volunteers. Uh, other than that, uh, when they volunteer, they are likely to become uh, employed or given uh, some part-time jobs. Now, with the, the ones that uh, were attached and they were earning, we had uh, referees, uh, especially good referees that uh, came from the training and were able to officiate not only the matches within their communities, but uh, they could even officiate uh, matches for men, still within their communities and outside their communities. The Football Kenya Federation would help them secure such jobs. So the general outcome of the project was that uh, there was an increase in the sports-related career knowledge for these girls especially with the life skills that they got, leadership and uh, information such as uh, the knowledge about uh, what players should eat and what, when they should eat, how to save and how to budget with the little money that they have. Then there was placement of participants in different sports and workplaces for employment and internship. Others got internship opportunities. Uh, others increased, other girls got uh, increased self-efficacy and confidence, which is very important for them, especially when they are looking for jobs, when they appear for interviews. They are able to present themselves uh, confidently and uh, consequently be able to secure jobs. There was also increased knowledge on savings and budgeting for small businesses. So in conclusion, we can say that uh, the sailing was slightly broken, but uh, it is yet to be shattered. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you.